Full disclosure, a review copy of this game was provided to me either by its publisher or development team. Crossing Souls, back to the 80s. Crossing Souls is a 9 hour long beat em up adventure platforming game where you play as 5 kids at the start of their summer vacation in California during the 80s. This game starts out as you playing as Chris, going out to gather your friends to meet up with your little brother Kevin at the treehouse, he has something to show you. Turns out that this thing is a dead body, but you find an object on this body that Matt figures out can allow them to see ghosts. Only problem is, of course, the military is after this which takes you on a crazy adventure of saving your town and stopping the military from getting this into their hands. The game actually has a very heavy narrative focus. The writing and storytelling is great. The actual gameplay itself though at times can be a bit lacking. You can control all five characters, all with their own uses in the world. However, I feel they're all pretty underused, as the focus is on combat rather than traversing levels until later in the game. Only problem is, these sections don't really utilize the different abilities these characters have. You have Chris for climbing, Matt for long jumps using his jetpack, Charlie for flinging yourself across the map which happens only like 4 times in the entire game, Big Joe for moving objects again only happens a couple times during the game, and Kevin... Kevin can't really do anything for now, but will later be able to go through walls and portals, and again, these different abilities from characters are highly underused. In between these moments is a lot of stamina based combat. You have to manage your stamina to not become vulnerable in combat. Enemies do drop health, but they do crazy damage. The combat is definitely a challenge, and there are pickups around the world for health and stunning enemies and later bombs. The progression of the story is actually surprisingly immersive. Every chapter feels fresh and mixes the gameplay up. Sometimes it's just straight up beat em up. Other times it's puzzles or solving a mystery. There are also a couple mini games thrown in there, though these mini games aren't really fun, they're just there. The game doesn't ever really start to slow down until the final two chapters, where the game just starts to feel like it's overstating its welcome, and you're smacked with the two least interesting levels in the entire game. My biggest complaints with this game, however, is one, the difficulty spike at the end, the final section feels near impossible compared to the rest of the game, and the platforming overall here is just not fun, made worse by the fact that checkpoints are all over the place. Every character has health attached to them, and there are no refill stations and characters don't faint. If one dies, they all die and it's back to a checkpoint at the last save point. Most of the time this is fine, but randomly dying deeper into a level can put you further back than dying somewhere in the middle, causing you to have to redo all the game's unfun, clunky, and stiff feeling platforming that by the way also runs on stamina if you're using the jetpack. Disappearing platforms make the stop and go extra frustrating, and the 3D platforming style in a 2D plane doesn't help, especially when you're platforming as Kevin for example, it's nearly impossible to tell if you're over a platform or not. But these issues feel small compared to what the game does right. Crossing Souls is still a really good game with a great story. It's addictive, it's fun, it's challenging, and will have the 80s and 90s kids feeling a bit nostalgic. I give Crossing Souls a 7 out of 10. If you play Crossing Souls, tell me what you thought about it down in the comment section below. If you haven't played it, tell me if you plan on picking it up, thumbs up, like the video, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please consider supporting me on Patreon so that I can continue to bring you reviews for all the newest games at patreon.com slash superkengaming. You get access to early audio and video versions of reviews, exclusive Let's Play videos, and you'll even get to choose the game I play next. Thanks for watching, and of course, stay beautiful.